New squads are about to hit the road for the Centennial Lakes Police Department. It's the first for the department because they're both of the new ones are hybrid. As Mike Johnson explains, it's a move that could save money in the long run. The two hybrid SUVs are so new, they don't even have the traditional Centennial Police colors yet. But when they do go on patrol, officials expect them to save enough fuel to more than make up for the higher price tag. And while there's a little bit more cost on the front end, about maybe $2,000 per vehicle, there's savings anywhere from four dollars to $5,000 in fuel savings per year. So it's one of those opportunities where you spend a little on the upfront cost and you'll save that, get that back in the first year. And then the car's in the fleet for another four or five years. Obviously, there's quite a tremendous amount of savings in, in fuel costs there. When the gas engine stops and the electric power takes over, that's when the savings kick in. And again, this is fully on battery mode right now. Chief Mork says the higher gasoline prices go, the more savings they will realize. And that's especially true in police work when engines are running all the time to support the equipment inside. For our type of work, uh, so much of the time the officers are in a parking lot or maybe at an accident scene and because they've got the emergency lights operating, they need to have the vehicle running. So a typical gas squad car is idling through much of its shift. Mork says the cars will be able to power police equipment and even air conditioning and heat for hours before turning the engine on. And Mork says they're not giving up anything in performance. You think maybe you're giving something up, but in reality, they're actually a little bit quicker than the gas cars because you have the advantage of the gas engine working in uh, tandem with the electric motors. So it's actually quicker off the line. Chief Mork says the only way most people will be able to tell is by checking the hybrid badge in the back. For North Metro TV News, I'm Mike Johnson reporting. The chief said officers are anxious to put the new squads into service. The real world experience will double the gas mileage from eight miles per gallon for traditional police squads to 16 per for the hybrids. Ford says that they could get 24 miles per gallon under normal driving conditions.